Hello guys, I recently received a question asking uh, how to create uh, a good uh, user interface uh, design for a dashboard. So I decided to reply via this video. So I would uh, try to keep it simple because uh, there's a lot of uh, variables involved uh, and uh, especially when it comes to the user experience part of it, can be pretty um, long to explain. And uh, so I'll just try and focus on the key points that uh, I think you can, uh, it can help the most. So the first thing I'd like to focus on, uh, it's uh, usually uh, just get uh, out a piece of uh, paper and uh, just uh, try and establish the primary, secondary and uh, secondary goals because that's the most important uh, element. Dashboards are very complicated screens. Uh, they can have a lot of data. There can be a lot of uh, actions that the user can, um, can take. So I'd like to focus on what's the most important things uh, in order of, uh, in, in a hierarchy. Um, so once that is established, Everything from there usually is, uh, becomes easier <clears throat> and the decision making uh, becomes uh, just smoother. Um, after that, I'd uh, focus on uh, the mockup itself. So creating a wireframe, a very rough concept of uh, what the dashboard will look like. And um, this is, it's, it's important at this stage to keep it rough and uh, not uh, go into the details because that can actually um, hinder the, re the results and uh, make the, pro the process less effective. So once the mockup, the, the wireframe is done, I uh, translate it into Sketch, uh, but you can also use Photoshop. I myself, I use Photoshop for almost 10 years and uh, loved it, but I think that Sketch has uh, an edge when it comes to user interface design, or at least that's you know my preference. Uh, I like the flexibility of uh, that software, but also Photoshop is great. So once you have it, uh, once you have the the main mockup into a digital format, um, you can uh, just go into the details. Um, and uh, you can take inspiration from other dashboards uh, that you like. You can take, for, for example, like uh, two free uh, main inspirations and uh, you can uh, use that as um, a point uh, uh, in which you can uh, have something that, that, that works and that can really uh, help you have a, a basis and uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying like copying other dashboards, but uh, just seeing what's already working very well and uh, try to not reinvent the wheel with each and every element you're designing in the dashboard. So that's a very important thing. Uh, and just try to, to make it unique. Uh, try to come up with a unique solution which is tailored for your client's needs or for the particular project's needs. So yeah, I hope that this uh, helps. Um, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will be posting more of uh, UI, UX videos and also some uh, tutorials related to this. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.